Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a second video um, in the series where we talk about the task manager in Windows 8. Um, the task manager in Windows 8 has been um, rewritten and revamped and it's really really cool. Um, if you haven't seen already we have a video online that talks about the processes uh, tab. Today we're going to talk about the performance tab. Now if you um, don't know how to get your task manager, multiple ways, bottom left, you can right click and go into task manager in the list. Um, if you uh, also go into the uh, desktop app, you can click at the bottom of your screen and um, right click there you'll have task manager available you can also go and white swipe from right to left on your desktop on your to get the charms bar on the left on the right side of the screen sorry so you uh, swipe from right to left get the charms bar or go into the corners with your mouse go into the search in the charms and start typing task to get the task manager back Keep in mind that your task manager can be um, looking like this. If it is, just go into view more details to uh, get the full task manager. And at the top, you see the tabs, and we are going today to the performance tab right there at the top, performance. And here you've got a beautiful performance graphic of what's happening on your computer. Computer is running slow, things are not going like you want. You can actually have a glance of what's being uh, happening on your computer and have a graphical view of the usage of your computer. At the left side, you've got the different categories of CPU, memory, disk, Wi Fi, or Ethernet. In my case, Ethernet has nothing on it because I'm not plugged in with a cable. Wi-Fi does have information because it is plugged in via a Wi-Fi router. Um, so each of these little categories can be clicked on. So you got CPU, you can check memory. Memory will show you how much memory you're using. Disk will show you how many disks, uh, uh, the access of the disks. Wi-Fi knowing what's happening on your connection and Ethernet will actually show you something when it's activated. So um, basically the information you get here is for example on the CPU tab you'll have the graphic view of what's happening on your computer so for example if I uh, close and turn on like this you see that it's gonna do little spikes you know I can uh, take Firefox for example close it or go here, close it back. You'll see that little spikes happen here in the CPU. This tells you basically how much usage your CPU is actually doing right now. And at the bottom, you have the basic information of your computer. The percentage of utilization, the speed. Now, here it says 1.15, and you see that the number changes. And why does it change? Well, for a simple reason, this is a Core i5 computer. It has um, a dynamic speed which means that it's it can go at a maximum of 2.5 gigahertz but it will slow down when nothing is happening on the computer and um, so this is a cool little feature that uh, you know will for one on the laptop it's nice because it will take um, less power if it's running slower um, and it's really a system statistics type um, window here. You've got, of course, the processes, the threads, the uh, handles, the hub time, how long the computer's been running, four hours now, and uh, maximum speed of the CPUs written there, the sockets, meaning how many CPUs are actually physically installed, Cores, how many cores in a computer, two in that process in that processor, and local logical processors, meaning that with 
um, hyper-threading and um, logical process usage, you can have what looks like four cores. And the different cache memory of your computer, uh, computer's um, processor. What's cache? Cache is basically a little piece of memory and the processor can write to that memory the uh, most often used in instructions so that instead of having to call it back from the processor list it actually has access to it much faster so in uh, in theory and also in real and reality uh, it does tend to um, speed up the computer's usage then on the left side you will have memory so the amount of memory used um, here it's very a flat line why because I'm not doing much but if you if I click on a few programs here to you know just bring them up go back you'll notice that it just went up slightly and that's because I've opened up programs so I'm using more RAM memory so uh, you can you know have a quick view of the RAM memory gives you also at the bottom information about um, how much memory is used 2.4 gigabytes what's available 5.5 left um, you'll have the cache which is basically what Windows puts away a little bit in case of you know of usage what it needs um, committed is what's being used or basically is committed to different programs um, and at the bottom well page pool and non page pool is basically information on your computer itself of uh, how many threads and programs are using such uh, uh, processes there and uh, you got a speed of your memory here is clocked at 1600 megahertz you've got the sockets used so in your computer you might have more than two sockets for example for memory uh, little memory cards so uh, when you put in a uh, little memory card in your computer uh, it will um, actually take a socket so uh, computers range from anywhere from two to four some I've seen with six sockets uh, typical laptops have two um, so and it tells you that SODIMM which is a laptop type memory and uh, hardware reserved which means that there's 47 megabytes reserved for the computer itself in the memory uh, for working third thing you can see is disk usage disk usage is really what it says disk usage is telling the computer how much of your hard drive is being used at this time so um, what you do is you look at these little spikes tells you how much megabytes or uh, per second um, and what's interesting also you've got details of information for example some people sometimes like to upgrade their hard drives with a faster hard drives um, example here in my computer I've got a um, 5200 turns per minute hard drive which is typical for a laptop but I might want to have a 5400 sorry you might want to have a faster hard drive which usually gives you a little better performance so you can buy a 7200 or 10,000 RPM hard drive and you can compare afterwards the information and see well the average response time for example is it slower or is it faster gives you an idea of you know performance um, you've got the read and write speed so if you're doing something intensive it's going to tell you um, how much information and what speed it has been uh, written or read from and you've got the capacity 596 so this is a 640 gigabyte drive uh, formatted got 596 gigabyte left and uh, system disk so it will make a difference because if you have more than one hard drive for example you've got a USB hard drive plugged in you'll have disk 0, disk 1, disk 2 and so system disk means that this is the official disk 
a hard drive where Windows is installed. If you have disk one, disk two, you'll know that it's not gonna it's gonna say it's not a system disk. That means there's no Windows installed there. Or the actual Windows where that you're using is not installed there. And uh, page file, which is a way of uh, actually writing down information on a hard disk. So uh, on the upper right, you also have a little detail about the, what type it is. It's a Toshiba MX6475 GSX. So it tells you what type of hard drive you've got in your computer, which is a Toshiba drive here. So lots of information about what's happening on your disk activity uh, viewed in a uh, uh, nice little graphical point of view here. Uh, the other one you might have, uh, keep in mind some of the stuff here might not be there. So if you have a desktop, for example, you might not have Wi-Fi if you don't have a Wi-Fi card. Um, so some stuff are there, some are not. Might differ a little bit on your computer. Wi-Fi tells you what um, the activity is on your computer's um, Wi-Fi card and the activity and how much it's transmitting through the the network in the Wi-Fi. At the top right you have the Wi-Fi LAN type, Realtek RTL8188 CE Wireless LAN with N technology and at the bottom well you'll have the send and receive speeds. That's a good indication if you think your network or internet is slow. You, see, you can check how many kilobytes per second it's sending or receiving. And uh, well, adapter name Wi-Fi the uh, SSID, which is the name of your own network, Wi-Fi network. Connection type, so this is a uh, 802.11n. It basically can be uh, A, B, G, N. And uh, the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses are written here. And the signal strength, always visible right there. And uh, basically, it's the same type of information you'll find on the Ethernet. So if you're plugged in with a cable, what you see here on my Wi-Fi is basically pretty much the same information you'll see on the Ethernet um, of your computer. So this was a small explanation of the performance tab in your task manager. Um, you can right-click on any of those and go into Summary View which will give you a much smaller window. It can be useful if you are looking for reasons why your computer might have problems. Uh, by doing that, you'll be able to um, have that little window there while you're doing other stuff on your computer. So uh, that's a great way. And you can, of course, bring it back um, to the, uh, take out of the summary view by right-clicking on it and go back to the graphical view. So um, if you've got that new Windows 8 machine or if you want to learn more about Windows and Windows 8, well, hey, um, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Um, actually, it's not at the top, it's somewhere on the screen. And um, if you um, have a request, have comments, questions, let us know. If you have a request of a feature you'd like to see reviewed, um, or talked about, let us know. We'll try to put a video online. And uh, hope that you uh, enjoy our channel and that you'll come back. Lots of videos online if you want to learn more on how to use your Windows 8 machine. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.